In this video, we're going to look at the fundamental theorem of arithmetic. And what that fancy name says is this. That if you have a composite number, now remember, a composite number is one that has more than two different factors. If you have a composite number, then you can write that as the product of all prime numbers. Now, you know what a prime number is. So let's take an example. Let's take the number 30. And I want to apply the fundamental theorem of arithmetic. I can write that as a unique product of prime numbers. Well, we're going to use what's called the um, factor tree method, finding the prime factorization of 30. We want to find two numbers, two prime numbers that make 30. Well, how about 2 times 15? That makes 30. And we want to keep doing this to all we have in our row is prime numbers. Well, 2 is prime, so we'll bring it down, but 15 is not. 15 is 5 times 3. Now, this row has all primes. We have now written 30 as a unique product of prime numbers. Now, most people would write this as 2 times 3 times 5 in the prime factorization form. But that's the fundamental theorem of arithmetic. Now, other people might do this same problem not quite with a tree like we did. They may just do it by some division problems. We're going to divide this by 2 first off. And we do that, we get 15. We can't divide by 2 anymore, so we'll take the next prime number, which is 3. Divide by that, we're going to get 5. And we can't divide that by 3 anymore, so we divide it by the next prime number, which is 5. And we end up with the 1. When we get to this stage, then here are our uh, prime numbers that make the product of 30. Let's look at another problem. Take 360, and we're going to use that last idea again. So we have 360. Now, what's the first prime number? It is 2. So does 2 go into 360? Yes, it does. When you do that, you have 180 left over. Will 2 go into that? Yes, it will go in there again. Now you have 90. Will 2 go in again? Yes, it will. Now we have 45. Will 2 go in again? No, it won't. Next prime number is 3. Will 3 go into that? Yes, it will 15 times. Will 3 go into that? Yes, it will. Five times. Will 3 go into that? No. Next prime number is 5. Will 5? Yes, it will. I get a 1. Here's my 1. So my product of prime numbers is the three twos, two threes, and a 5. If you multiply it together, you're going to get 360. And that's called the fundamental theorem of arithmetic using prime factorization to find the answer. I hope you have a very happy day, and I hope it helps you a lot. As always, bye-bye.